Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. Today, I want to introduce you to the Unity Memory Profiler. It's an open source project um, hosted by Unity Technologies, and it gives you a quick way to view a snapshot of what's in RAM, find uh, possible issues or things that you can optimize to reduce your memory footprint for your game. So if you're building a game that's you know, especially targeting mobile or something where your memory is somewhat limited, it's probably extremely important, but even if you're not, it's still a good idea to get a quick view of what's in RAM and make sure that it all makes sense. So I've got, um, I'm going to download this and then I'm going to pull it into a project and kind of show you how to use it. It's actually really, really simple. So uh, the first thing you need to do is just pull it down. So you could either clone it um, right here. There's you know the option to just clone it in source tree or you could clone the repository from Bitbucket. Or you can just go to the downloads page and just hit download and grab the entire repository. And then it's it's tiny, so it's not a big deal. And then go into there. And then what you want is the editor folder in here. So in fact, that's kind of the only thing in the project. So you just take this editor folder, copy it out, and then drop it into your project. So I have this little space game that I've been building as a um, kind of a conduit to test things out and to do videos where it's in a semi-realistic situation. So I'm just gonna paste it right into here. So I'm just in that assets folder and I'll just paste in the editor folder. I don't have an editor folder in here already so it's not gonna conflict with anything. Um, and now go back over to the project and once it finishes importing and recompiling that, we'll just have the option to open up the memory profiler under the Windows tools. So if we go, oh, almost done. Just another second and I can hit that because it's just pulling in those new scripts. It's not actually gonna change anything of mine. Just gonna update those scripts to the 2017. Okay, so we'll go to window. Did it finish? We go, oh, it's still going. Okay, there we go, window. And then there should be a memory profiler option. There we go, memory profiler. And you see, it just pops out as a full window. Um, you can also, dock it like this, you know, just like any normal window. But you'll see in a moment that the view is kind of big and putting it into a little tab may not make a lot of sense. So I'm gonna start playing. And this game is just set up to use controllers. I can hit Y to add bots and A to join in myself. And once it finishes going and starts playing, what I'm gonna do is hit the take snapshot button. Um, as soon as that bot picks a third ship, the system for selecting ships is pretty bad right now. So there we go. Things are playing, um, make sure I mute the audio, and I'm gonna hit take snapshot. Now here again, like I said, the view does not work very well for a tiny little window, so I'm gonna pop it back out into a full window and kind of make this full screen so you can get a quick idea of what's going on here. Now if you take a look, you'll see that the render texture is right around 100 megs. Um, it's always been this in every project I've opened, it's right about there, which I think makes sense. Um, Particle systems are a little bigger than some other things I've opened, but Texture 2D is enormous, right? We're looking at 281 megs of textures for a very, very simple game. Right? This is a game where I've got a couple of spaceships flying around. So what I can do though is just click on this and it'll actually give me a breakdown of all of the different textures. See, we've got little tiny ones and big giant ones. And since I'm worried about memory usage, I wanna focus on the bigger things. So I'll click on the first one and we can see that this is actually for Cruiser 01, and it's just the metallic smoothness. So if we look at this thing, this is pretty damn giant. 42 megs for the metallic texture. It's a 4096 by 4096 texture. Way, way bigger than, than I possibly need. Same with the normal, and I guess, my guess is that a lot of the Cruiser ones are just gonna be giant, 21 megs. So looking at just this Cruiser alone, we're pulling in over 100 megs. So what we could do is just jump over to the project again and I could find these textures. So what was it? It was a uh, cruiser zero one. I'm just going to search for those. So there we go. It's these textures right here. And these are just on one of the ships. In fact, it might be that one right there that you were seeing. Actually here, let's just drop one out. Um, let's drop out the prefab version that we can see. So it's this one. Oh, okay, this is the one I'm using as a laser ship. So this is one, it definitely doesn't need 4096 textures for my game. We're not flying right up next to them. We're looking at it from relatively far away, top down. So what one thing I could do to just quickly adjust this and probably not notice any difference 
Here, let me drop this guy back out here and put it so that I can kind of see the ship. Um, it's it's way off scale right now, but I want to be able to at least get an idea of what's going to happen when I change it. So I'm just going to select all of these textures, and I'm guessing, yeah, they're all set to max size of 4096, and I'll just drop them down to like 1024. And I'm guessing, yeah, I, I can't tell the difference at all. Well, here, let's see. Let's let it finish importing, but these are pretty damn solid colors. Like, there's not a whole lot of detail here. I don't think that we need anywhere near this size. So once this finishes, what we'll do is re retake a snapshot and see if we've saved a bunch of memory. Yeah, I can't tell the difference at all. So let's let's do that now. So back into the profiler, hit take snapshot, and memory usage has already dropped significantly. It's still relatively big for these. Um, these other ones, we've got some fighters now that are 2048 textures. Again, I could shrink all of these down and save space. But it's also important to note that you can look at a couple other things in here. So you could see the textures, which I think are probably going to be the biggest problem for most people. But then there's stuff in the particle systems. Um, I haven't really dug into these too much. Uh, there's also audio. So if you happen to have some big giant audio files, they may show up here and just give you an idea of what you can fix. And a lot of this stuff is also available in the build report. So if you do a, a build, you get that text file in, in the editor output that gives you, I think, a lot of the same info. But here you can get it without doing a build. You can make changes, hit take snapshot, and just get a quick idea of what's going on. And I like this visual view a lot better than just a big text file. So definitely give this thing a try. Um, just download it, drop it into the project. There's really no downside to having it in there and checking it out and you know seeing if there are places that you can optimize quickly. Um, again, I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, if you find it useful, definitely share it with friends, share the video, hit thumbs up or like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.